So you are here with Raceway 1 for the final round of qualifying here at the IFMA Wells. You may have noticed, uh, this isn't the wheel behind the camera this time, it's the other wheel, and it's me, Will Venables, commonly known as Briefcase, stepping in here for Will, as we have the top guys warming up for the final round. It's still pretty wide open. Dakota has, has a TQ already. Tater took round two and three, and Rivkin, home track hero, took round four last night. So, it's still pretty close. The track is a little bit loose still, not too bad, but so these guys might have a disadvantage, but they've, they've started to run straight through with no gap, so the dust doesn't settle down, and I'll set the cars, so, so hopefully these guys shouldn't be as disaffected. Let's see, is Tater starting first, I think? I think it will be Spencer Dakota. We'll just follow Taylor with a, for a few laps. I have to say the TLR cars are looking really strong here. It looks like they just have it dialed. Especially Taylor's car looks so easy to drive. Lots of drive. Just, just clips it there. A bit of a slow first lap. Let's throw on Garo and Rivkin. Go for the tabletop section. Looks like the Associated guy is starting to get it pretty good towards the end. I think Rivkin will have a lot of adrenaline going through him to get this because he's a local, I think he's from actually Arizona as well, just pretty close by. Let's see. Hopefully we'll get a running order once these guys get run through. We'll follow Rivkin for another lap or two and then we'll move on to... So car eight. I'll have to see where Kai is. Ongaro also looking pretty strong. Uh, Rivkin with a mistake, so I think that's going to be his TQ over. Ongaro just clipping a few things here and there, but without a doubt, he's a contender here. Looks like single, single. Car eight. I think Rivkin. So car three, where is car three? See, where is car three? I think car three is, is it Aiden Horn? Don't know, let's see. I'm actually trying to see who car three is. We'll follow Brock for a few laps. Just bear with me, I'm going to try to get the results on my phone. Okay, there's actually Marcus leading this. I didn't realize, so we were sort of following him just then. Going through a bit of traffic, it looks like. Apologies for the last minute there. Probably a bit of some shaky camera moves for myself. Marcus looking pretty clean here. I think he's struggled a little bit, but he's starting to get faster and faster as he goes. He's definitely one of the, mo one of the most talented guys I've seen in the last few years. And it was Brock is actually second at the moment and Tater in third. So as it stands, I think Tater's got TQ overall. I don't know what his drop round is, but he's still looking pretty good. He's currently going second in this heat, but I guess it depends with all the other guys, how they get on. I think the track's getting faster and faster. I guess it'll still be a, still be the talk of the town to see if this run is affected, or if it gets all right. Marcus, ah. Uh, 
I have to admit the traffic here has been a bit questionable to say the least, but hopefully it didn't cost Marcus too much time. But I think that may put Taylor into the top spot. And I'll let you know as soon as he goes. And it does put him to the top. So let's find Tater there. Coming now onto the center tabletop section. So I think as long as he can stroke it around, I think he'll be okay with about 37 seconds to go. It'll be really good to see some more TLRs in Europe. Because it looks really strong here in the USA. At the moment, their fastest is 18.8, so I definitely would say the track has gone slower definitely since yesterday. I think the guys are doing almost 18.4, so this might be an affected round, I have to be honest. But we have run straight through, so, so at the moment, the order is Tater, Davide, Brock, Marcus, Bruno, Spencer, Aiden, Cole, Dakota, and Brennan. And I think, I think Tater's just finished there. Apologies that the video wasn't as good. Oh no. So this looks like the So Brock Champlin actually takes it on the last lap. With Davide, Tater, Marcus, Spencer, Bruno, Aiden, Cole, Dakota, and Brennan. So I think that's definitely Tater on the top spot. And then second, third, and fourth, I guess will be. Spencer, Brock, and Dakota. So, thanks for watching and look forward to finals.